Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel and today we're going to be reviewing the fourth episode of The Witch and we're officially halfway through the first season. And this episode was a lot better than last week's, but before we dive into that, subscribe and like so you never miss a video. The first three reviews are on the channel, of course. And comment anything else you want to see or any shows you want me to review and let's just dive straight into it. So The Witcher episode four has a lot more focus on all three main characters, Siri. Yennefer and Geralt and I'll talk about Ciri's storyline first as she had the weirdest storyline so at the end of the last episode if you've obviously watched it she walks into the forest at the end of the episode as that's the, her only appearance in that episode and she's in some sort of like trans and uh, the guy she's with the elf gets shot with an arrow. This episode comes across this group of hostile people who who's responsible for shooting uh, the kid. And ultimately, nothing really happens. They're basically just keeping her captive. She's lying about who she is, and she obviously confesses who she is to the elf. And ultimately, the episode focuses on her just drinking. Drink this, drink that. He gets healed. Nothing really happens with her. But then she's teleporting to and from places when she drinks the water. And at the end of the episode, she's tele- well, I don't know if she's teleported or she's dreaming or having a vision. And she sees this tree in the distance. <clears throat> That's where it ends. Her storyline is the most confusing. Because obviously you have Yennefer who, who's powerful with magic. And you have Geralt who, who uses a sword and has magic. And multiple other you know qualities. But her, it's kind of confusing as to what her ability is <laughs> in this world being obviously quite young and obviously I don't know when you develop powers or skills or you know whatever it may be and she currently has the worst story going in the series for me but I'm intrigued to see when she comes again up against Geralt and maybe Yennefer and Geralt meet she, they've, they've spoke, he's spoken about Yennefer but whether they'll actually officially meet this season is another story. Going into Yennefer's story, again, Yennefer had a very really weird story, but she actually had one of the greatest segments in the whole series so far. So basically, she, in the last episode, was told to escort the this queen back to her palace, so she's safe, that's one of her jobs, do all the meeting, and this, that, the other. This assassin guy and his massive crab took all the army out that was accompanying them and ultimately they were on the run for the whole episode and it built up some amazing scenes you know she, she got to fully use her powers you know you got to see her go to water areas a sand area and a mud area and it, the, the way they did it was so excellent they sort of did it you know like you know you got a strange power uh going in a circular motion it was really cool really tense not knowing who was going to die, because there was three of them, there was a soldier as well. He ended up dying, which obviously was obvious. But then ultimately, they just kept on going through it, how she managed to use the power to hold it off the crab and put it in slow motion whilst holding a portal with the other arm. It was really cool. And Yennefer's come on to be such a great character. You know, how she, she, she sorted her back out and her face out and got rid of the hunchbackness. Make it uh, more appealing to the characters in that universe and, you know, with the black hair. I think it's been really good development from her being an outcast and not a lot of love to being standing out, to using her powers. She can teleport easy as well because she accidentally, I don't know she accidentally did, she ditched the queen by accident and ultimately she was killed. She was like stabbed in the face because she is unable to have a boy. She obviously had a girl first and the king wasn't happy about it. So she, he hired the assassin. She dropped the baby on the well, not dropped, placed the baby on the floor, saying have the baby instead, and ultimately she died. Then obviously Yennefer went back with the baby, which I thought was really um, weird. As she had no reason to, and ultimately the baby ended up dying. We probably will get another face off between Yennefer and the assassin. The robot thing was killed, I think. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing more Yennefer magic scenes because they're really cool and how they did it and the, the visuals of it was excellent Yennefer has very strong scenes and then going on to the final bit is Geralt Geralt had probably the another excellent episode you know Henry Cavill's the reason why I watched this show 
obviously having no prior knowledge to the Witcher, but obviously he's at a um, like a party um, ceremony thing to get the another queen's daughter wedded. And ultimately, turns sideways when <clears throat> you know a bunch of people go up, say no, no, no. This guy walks in as a knight, proclaims his love. Ultimately, he's been turned and cursed into a porcupine. Like a normal human, but like the face is like porcupine style. Just like, yeah, different face, this, that, and the other. And the queen orders the witcher to kill him. And it was such a well crafted scene. You know, he's fighting, he's, you know, the guy's fighting off all these people. He gets tugged down. The witcher stops him. He teams up. A bunch of people start teaming up with the witcher. It goes sideways. Everyone's killing each other, protecting each other. She wants everyone dead. That's like, you know, the witcher, the porcupine guy. The, the guy who wants to marry the queen and it just it's such a sick battle you have all these fight all these swords swinging and people flying and people getting slit in half and she pulls a sword out and then she goes to the witcher and it's just such a well choreographed scene the direction right for this week's episode was fantastic and definitely the strongest episode ultimately protected her the daughter showed off how her powers worked because obviously the mom decided to go and kill the Pokemon again, which she was unsuccessful. The curse was broke. He was free. They're going to marry each other. And then Geralt left, um, leaving obviously his characters. But the bit that was so confusing for me was at the end of the episode, there's a, there's a kingdom shown. Uh, one minute it's not on fire, the next minute it's on fire. You see an army, you see dead people on the floor. And I read on, I asked on Wikipedia because I was that confused. The events of Geralt being at the party is set in 1249. And the events at the end, when uh, the guy who Geralt's talking to in the hallway, one of his closest friends, is captured in 1263. And I'm confused why there's a 14-year gap at the end of the episode. But then I read in the next episode, they go back to 1250-something. So why are they jumping all over the place, confusing the fuck out of me? Like, is everyone in that kingdom who we literally just watched the episode in dead? Like the porcupine guy, the mother. I didn't know who that was the mother on the floor because he showed a dead body. I'm thinking, I don't even know who that is. Like, <laughs> But overall, it's a fantastic episode. That just bitch confused the hell out of me. I'm intrigued to see where series stories go in, whether her elf friend has turned weird now. Will Yennefer now try and look for Geralt? Will Geralt try and look for Yennefer? How is what's in that 14 year time skip? Has there already been multiple time skips? This is a very confusing series. There's too many queens and stuff. That's my only issue. There's too much between the characters who barely appear consistently. Like these are the only three characters I really know. Like this episode, we got no connection to where Yennefer's been working recently you know she's has she completely left will she go back she was on a random beach burying the baby it's it's very good but it's a very messy series you know jumping back and forth not knowing if it's the present day the future or the past very confusing are the flashbacks are the visions we'll have to find them out next week stay tuned let me know what you think with the witches let me know who your favorite character is I love all three of these characters joint and as I said, they'll get better as they meet each other. And I'm very intrigued how they've made two seasons out of this because I don't really know. There's not really an overall story. So you got to think about it. It's just people killing each other. But uh, I look forward to next week's episode. Stay tuned for that. Subscribe, like, comment, anything else you want to see. And take care. Goodbye.